Hi, it's Matt Patrick, your morning host on 95.3 MNC. We find out this week of a horrible tragedy that occurred on the campus of St. Mary's College. Young girl, freshman there, taking her own life because allegedly she had been sexually assaulted by a University of Notre Dame football player. Can you believe it? Notre Dame Police Department were notified soon after the alleged sexual assault took place, but they didn't pass it along to St. Joe County Police or the Special Victims Unit. Why is that? Well, many people are saying today that it's because the University of Notre Dame has got everybody right here. No one's allowed to talk, man. They control everybody. We're not going to let this out. Are you kidding? We've had a horrible year. Well, that may be true. I hope it's not, but it may be true. But there's something else I'd like you to consider. Do you remember Duke University and the lacrosse team? Do you remember that story when a young lady said that she had been raped by more than one member of the Duke lacrosse team? She had been taken into a bathroom and sexually assaulted. And we found out later, much later, after lives were ruined, that she was making up that story. Now, don't misunderstand me. I don't for one minute look you in the eye and think that this young girl at St. Mary's College was making up this story. But what we did learn by that was we have to be very, very careful before we start pointing an accusing finger at anyone. So maybe this isn't a bad idea that the University of Notre Dame Police Department have been very careful in their investigation. And they've been very careful who they point the finger at and who they accuse of what crime. Now this young girl is still lost. She's no longer with us and her family grieves and that's terrible and horrible and I pray for them. But at the same time, I think it's imperative that we make sure we know what we're doing when we begin to point the finger at young people and accuse them of very, very serious crimes. I certainly hope that the University of Notre Dame isn't covering up anything, and if they are, I will be the first one to go after them. But I also think that it's important that we reserve judgment until we know all of the facts. Join us right here every morning beginning at 5 o'clock where we will do our level best to give you all the facts. 95.3 MNC.